paint your skin green, put, a, put something hard on your back, and go outside and talk to people. Mike's Music Method. Here we are again. Welcome, everybody. Ah, happy to be here with you. We have an unbelievable John Hurt song today. This, it's tied with Lonesome Valley. Actually, I can't say there's so many good John Hurt songs. But this one, if you want to have been meaning to explore open tunings, this one is Open D, and it's freaking awesome. You guys are going to love picking this one. Do not pass this video up. It isn't a beginner video, so always check out the Travis Picking Primer video. And then I'll throw up there in that same spot the um, Travis Picking Playlist. And do the first few videos in the playlist, watch the primer, get those down. Um, but if you're eager to try some open tunings and maybe push the envelope on your skill level, you know, if you're more of a beginner picker, you might not be able to tackle the whole song, but don't let that shy you away. Learn the first few measures. This You're going to love this open tuning. It's just so much fun. And you, you can, really quickly, you will learn some cool tricks and how to even improvise in open tuning yourself because it's so easy. This whole song, he's not even bothering with anything but this. His thumb is literally doing 6-4 the entire time, just implying that um, D, right? And then you're kind of messing around with all these different notes. And it's, it's so much fun. You're going to have a great time with it and realize, oh, wow, I get why so many guys just play in open tuning because it's a ton of fun. It opens up that left hand because you're not beholden and tied and weight, weighted down by all these chords with your other fingers. So Mississippi John Hurts payday. Let's do it. We are in beautiful open D tuning. John Hurt, unfortunately, everything's a little flat. The weather must have been wonky or John Hurts just using his ear to tune. He probably didn't even have a tuner. But anyways, he's all a little bit flat. So if you're trying to do it with the recording, not super annoying because it's only a little flat. But if you want to play exactly along with John Hurt, just turn everything a little bit flat from there. Otherwise, open D, as I said before, it's a beautiful, fun song. Let's dive in. Measure one. I don't even know what the downbeat is. This might be the start of its own measure. Everyone's gonna count this song a little bit differently. But I'm hearing that as a pickup. A lot of great hammer-ons, slides, and a lot of fun stuff in this song. We are hammering, uh, picking six and two. And I'm hammering onto the second fret on that second string. I'm using my thumb and index on the pointer. And then I'm doing fourth string and first with my thumb and middle. Really want to make sure your hammer-ons are very accurate only to that string. I'm using my fingertip and it's nice and powerful. Quick. Right, nice and snappy. And right in the measure two here, I'm sliding from two to four on the first string. And I'm pinching six and one. So it's pinch six one and sliding from two to four when I um, when I do that one. And then the thumb is just finishing. Six, four. So from the top. Try it again. It's already fun. Measure three. We're holding down the second fret on the second string, on the B string. And we've got, oh, just remember, thumb is always going back and forth. Actually, the entire time he's droning the Ds, he's just doing thumb on D, thumb on D, sixth string to fourth, and that never changes the entire song. So at least you get a break in that regard, but the rest of it's crazy. <laughs> so we have six alone, then I'm pinching four and two, using my pointer finger, and it's the second fret on that second string. So thumb alone on six, four and two, and then immediately hitting the first string with my middle finger. 
six, four, and two, and then the first string open. Then it, I go back to six and immediately do the second string again. tricky. Uh, I'll do the whole thing really slow again. Six, pinch four and two, and then immediately open on the first string. So get that down. That's its own little, own little idea. Six, four, two, one. And then I'm doing six, two, and then four, one. So not four, two, four, one at the end. Six, two, and I'm pinching four and one. Again, I'm alternating index finger on the second string, middle on the first string. I won't keep repeating that because that's gonna be the same almost the entire song, so make note of that. Index is always on second, middle finger is always on the first string. Now bef before I go on, another thing to note, and I'm not gonna talk about this too much because you really gotta, this is a moment where you should listen to the song, repeat a measure, listen to the song, because sometimes notes are ringing out, other times they're really staccato, and I don't want to overwhelm people with giving you all that detail, but once you get this song down, then you want to start honing in and going, okay, how heavy is John Hurt palm muting? In this measure, am I playing it, or are those twos really staccato? In other words, the second I play the two, I'm stopping it. I'm exaggerating by lifting my hand, Again, it's boop ba boop ba as opposed to boop ba boop ba where they're both ringing. So a lot to consider, not only in playing the notes, but stylizing the whole thing to sound a lot like Hurt. But for now, let's just get the notes and uh, don't think of too much at once. You want to get comfortable getting the notes before you start putting all this thought into the uh, subtle minutia. Measure four is the same as measure two, pinching six and one, sliding two to four. Keep going straight into measure five. We have six, four, and, and that and is the second string. Six, four, and. And here's this compound uh, movement, I call it. I don't, I don't have another word for it. But we have six, four, and is on the second string, and I'm gonna hammer. But the moment I hammer that second string, I'm also hitting the sixth string with my thumb. So I get the hammer on the second string, but then at the exact same time, I'm only using my thumb. Not sounding the second string again. If you haven't come across this, it's in all sorts of videos I've done before, but if you're not used to this, it's gonna be a lot and you're just gonna have to sit here and make sure you got it. So let's finish the measure. measure. We have six, four, and hammer with the thumb at the same time, then immediately hit the first string with your middle finger, and then it's back to the thumb on four. So that ending is, so you got the hammer, six, one, four, Hammer six, one, four. So that whole measure. And remember, you're going to experiment with palm muting. Experimenting with stopping that, that too early. Measure six. Pinching six and one, but we got the second fret down. We're sliding to two back right away. So probably slide with your ring finger. Unless you got a big hand, you can slide with your middle. But but don't do your first because you're going to have to jump all the way back to the second fret. So I would slide um, with my ring finger, pinching six and one, sliding from two to four. Then we pinch four and one, but I've got my second fret on that E string, so four and one there. So slide and then go right back for a four and one pinch. And we pinch again, six and one, but it's open. We got a lot of melody notes here. And then we move the melody note again, we're pinching four and two, but we got the second fret on the second string. So it's four and two, open on the fourth string, two on the second. Cool measure. Can you get it fast? And this song is so much fun. Uh, I'm getting excited. Uh, let's keep going. Five, six, we're on measure seven. We start by pinching six and two. And then the thumb's alone on four. So six, two, thumb alone on four. And here we have that compo motion idea. Right after I hit the fourth string, I'm doing second string open and hammering. And when I hammer, my thumb hits the sixth string. Pinch, thumb, index, and then hammer to the thumb. And then immediately the first string. 
It's a common little motif in this song. A motif is just a short little melody. Bam, ba -dum, bam. Then it ends four, two. Busy measures, I know. Six and two, thumb alone. Second string, you hammer it, then hit the six at the same time. Open on the first, thumb on the fourth. Then you lift that finger to get open on the second. I'll do it slow a few times so you catch it. break on measure eight here. Just pinching six and one, and four, six, four. That's it. So her finally gives us a breather. Let's do one through eight to make sure we got it nice and slow. And we'll count it as a pickup. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two. Most of the melody notes, besides the fours, I'm doing them staccato, which means short. So from the top again, uh, one, two. I'm letting that four ring. Then these are short. At least the twos are short. And then I let that ring. Stop that two short. Yeah, so all those twos on the second string. And then eventually, um, <laughs> I'm so I'm so excited for you guys. I know there's so many of you that like uh, never thought you'd be able to play this stuff, but I know if you take it nice and slow, this is a great song to like open up that open D, and you're just gonna learn to run with it and have such a good time and impress all your friends and loved ones and strangers. Let's keep going. Measure nine, the fun keeps happening in new unexpected ways. We go way up to the ninth fret. So we're pinching uh, six and one, but we got a ring finger on nine. And then thumb alone. And then we pinch six and one again, but now we're on the seventh fret. And then at the end it's four, three. So pinch, and then move it to 7th fret, pinch, thumb, and that hand is the 3rd string, pinch, one, two, three, four, and. and measure 10, we can keep that 7th fret down, I'm holding it down, and we're doing 6, 2, 4, 3, 6, 1, 4, 3, 6, 2, so here, this is where I do actually one of the few instances where I'm moving my hand, because now I'm doing six with then two is my middle so i've shifted from being on the first two strings to being on strings two and three so it's six two with my middle four three with my index six then i shift back down to get the first string with my middle thumb and then index on the third string so here he has the third string there some guys will i'll actually use my ring fingers i'll do my ring finger on the high e but i know a lot of folk players and blues players don't ever use the ring finger, so then you can just shift, as I just explained. A lot of different ways to play that measure, decide which fingers you're gonna use. I'm using, th well, I would recommend thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index. So your middle's going between second and first string. If you wanna use your ring, you can, but if it's tricky, you know, only if you're doing classical do you need that ring finger. So nine and 10, three, four, that until you get it. Let's keep moving though. We got measure 11. Now we're sliding. Um, you can slide with whatever finger you want because then we get a, a break on the open. So it's seven to nine, pinching six and one, and sliding seven to nine. And the fourth string, then you're pinching six and one, but they're both open, so you get another break. Thumb alone on four. Keep 
going. We're going to slide from seven to nine on the second string. So I'm pinching six and two this time. I'm sliding from seven to nine on the second string. And here I'm going to use my ring finger because then we're going to need the seventh fret in a moment. So pinching from, you don't have to. If your index finger is fast enough, you want to do it all with the index. That's fine. I'm um, just giving you some ideas. So sliding from seven to nine. Then pinching six and one with my seventh fret on that first string. And then double over. So that whole measure is. Let's go back all the way to nine because it's so cool. Let's do measure one to 12, just so you guys have a feel for the whole thing in context here. One, two, here we go. That's the idea, loop that until you get it before you move on so you don't overwhelm your brain. I always recommend that. Don't just sit here and go, I'm gonna get all the way to the end of the song. No, you know, stop at measure four, spend a week on measures one to four, spend six weeks on measures one to two. You know, I don't, I don't know where your skill level is, but if this is way out of your range, then that's what you do. You wanna always be working on a piece that's outside of your scope, deliberate practice. Don't always just work on the easy stuff that you know. But one, in one day, you're going to get there. I know it. Slow and steady wins the race, okay? Be a turtle. Don't be that greedy little cocky little a-hole rabbit, okay? Be the turtle. Nothing wrong with being a turtle. Maybe not as flashy. He moves slow. But that's okay. You're, I know you're prepared to be the turtle. That's how we get good at guitar. Be the turtle, all right? You know, if you get your skin all gross and scaly... Look at my hands in the winter. They're gross and scaly. Just embrace the turtle, his whole essence. Not just the metaphor, okay? Paint your skin green. Put, a, put something hard on your back and go outside and talk to people w looking like that. I know it seems like a lot, but a lot of these themes and concepts just repeat. So it's actually more of a memorization game than it is anything else. And eventually you're just, you're going to let your ear guide you, you know, if you've li listened to the song enough, you're going to know, oh yeah, this is where it's that bring, bring, and I remember that's that seventh fret part, and it's going to come together, um, but there, there's still a lot more, <laughs> uh, but you will get there. So we're pinching six and one, and then thumbs alone on four, and we're sliding when we pinch six to one, so it's that same slide as before, thumb alone, then we're lifting it and pinching six and one, open, open. And then I hit the second string here and I'm gonna hammer on into the next measure and it's that compound movement again. And then immediately the first string, right? We talked about that motif earlier. So the end of that measure, pinch six one, thumb alone. And on the second string you hammer it and then hit the sixth string. So the whole measure was sliding here. Seven to nine, we slip. And then we hit both of them open. Immediately the second string right into the next measure. So hammering on to two, hitting the sixth string with it when we hammer, immediately the first string, and the fourth. And then here we have the two to four slide, pinching, sliding two to four, the thumb alone. So 13 and 14 together, three, four, On your computer, hit the back arrow, go back five seconds. You can loop it as often as you need to, or the J button and the L button, backward, forward, K, plays, and pauses. 15. Open, open. Similar idea, but man, it's syncopation. He's always putting things on different beats, which is why we love John Hurt. So we got six, four, six, one. It's a second fret on one, and he slides to four, 
but it's compound. When that two slides to the four, you're hitting the fourth string when you land there. So six, four, six, one, four. And then immediately the first string again, and he plays it open. So our melody is. little measure and let's go straight to 16 we've got it's the same idea here six two and that we hammer on the second fret of the second string and then immediately to the compound motion of the thumb on the fourth string when you hammer and then right after it open on the first string that motif again bow down down He's always placing that in different moments. Sometimes it's on the pinch, and sometimes it's off, and it gets this really groovy, bluesy, soulful Delta blues John Hurt sound. Uh, let's do let's do 15 and 16 together. Three, four. In 17, here's that syncopation that I was talking about. We pinch six and two, and we have the hammer on right there, open to two on the second string. And then it's thumb on four, and then middle finger open on the first string. And then it's six, four, and is the second string. And, and now it's the hammer on compound thing, but that same bow down melody. So again, from the top of 17, we pinch with the hammer. And down. So going into 18, it's that hammer on the second, but hitting your thumb at the same time as the hammer, and then immediately the first string. I'm not gonna talk about that again, because it's gonna happen a million times in the song. So after that, then we, at the half, second half of 18, we're pinching six and one again, sliding two to four. So again, this material isn't really new. You've seen all these ideas. They're happening on different beats, and that's what's so freaking cool about this song. I'll play it one more time, 17 and 18, and then I'll shut up about it. You can always rewind, watch again. Three, four. Another really fun part. Uh, the end of measure 18 I'm hearing is like the beginning of this. So again, I don't know what's the one beat and what's the three beat in this song. It, it's kind of, again, I don't know how you count it or what the, exactly the emphasis is. And sometimes, talk about this a lot too, like folk and blues guys just add a random bar of two four instead of four four. So they're eating adding, adding two beats or taking away two beats um, kind of unexpectedly. Um, but so if you think of the end of 18, we did this. We, we slid from two to four, six, we pinched six and one. We did thumb along. And then he does that three times in a row. He does that in 19. So 19 is just two more, two more of those slides. Then he does and on the second string. And then what happens to that and on the second string? It gets hammered onto two when you hit the sixth string with your thumb. And there's our motif again. So the end of 19, we're hammering open two and going to 20. Six string, first string right away, thumb on four, and then we have two pinches in a row pinch six and one with the fourth fret, and then pinch four and one with the second fret on the string. So your melody's four, two, it's six and one, and then it's four and one pinching. And your melody moves down. Bum, bum. And we'll keep going just because it's all part of the same little run here. So 21 begins with six and one open. Go to the second fret and we're pinching four and two. Then we go to six and two, but two is open. Then thumbs alone, and then we do the and beat. So 21 again, six and one, four and two with my second fret down on two, six and two with two open. So that whole part from 20 is four, two, open, two.
keep going. 22. <laughs> I don't know how much to explain because you guys can see that there are a lot of repeats. Um, so I don't want to be super redundant because the song already is redundant. So if you ever get lost, this is one of these videos like once you start getting confused, stop, right? You don't want to keep trucking along if you don't have one of these phrases, not just known, but like have you, muscle memory, right? I want you to be able to play this stuff without thinking about it. So definitely a song where you're doing four measures at a time. Spend as much time as you need to on those four measures. Maybe it's, you know, three days. Maybe it's it's six weeks. I don't know your skill level, but please do that. Otherwise, you're going to get lost really quick as I keep moving forward. I can't, I think it would be tedious for most people for me to go note by note, measure by measure in this song because so much of the material is regurgitated just with like a different rhythm or a slight variation to it. But let, let's go back a little bit, play through that, make sure you guys got it before we move on here. So let's take it from 13, 14, 15. We have that open, open slide here. but it is awesome, isn't it? I think you're following my vibe. I think you know what's going on here. You're gonna get it, you're gonna love it. Freaking John Hurt. Let's go over 23, but we're gonna talk about 22 going into 23. So the end of 22, we're, we have the two to four slide. And then it's four, two. So pinch six, one, four, two, six, back to two on the first string. So you gotta be ready to move there. And then you slide from two to four again, but it's that compound motion where you're hitting the fourth string at the same time. But I'm on the top of measure 23 there. Six, two, you slide it. And the measure uh, end of measure 23 is pretty easy, pinching six and two, or six and one, and then immediately you play two. Go back to 22, actually the end of 21, because you have that hammer on. It, it's hard to talk about these separate because they're all strung together. Um, so you have that hammer on, then it's the open into 22. I'll do the very top of 22. Forget the hammer on for a moment. Three, four. One more time. Three, four. Hard little segment there. Weird timing. The right hand and the left hand are working independently there for a little bit. So go slow on that one. All right, we get another little break here. Let's go to 24. We've seen this before, I think. We're pinching six and two. And we're hammering on the second fret there. And then it's four, one, six, four. Pinch six, two with the hammer. Four, one, six, four. And he does the same thing again in 25. And guess what? You get a break. It looks crazy. So oh, download the tab, mikesmusicmethod.com. Download your free tab, okay? And then jump to measure 26 in, in the free tab that you downloaded. Free, no charge. Can you believe it? Who does that? So <laughs> measure 26 to 34, we've seen that already. It's exactly the same as uh, measure 10 to whatever, what we just did, 10 to 25. It's a repeat, 26 to 34. Now I know that like looks redundant on the tab, but I know a lot of people, myself included, 
it's nuts with like the DC Alcoda, DC to the Senyo, to the whatever. Some people don't like that. It confuses them, myself included. Um, so I put it in there because sometimes he's going back to it. Other times he isn't. Um, if you want a slow run through of all of that again, check out the timestamp below, right? At the end of the videos, I'm always doing slow run throughs of the whole thing. So if you already know all the measures, you don't have to drag through all the previous stuff in this video. You can just jump to the end where I'm doing these slow run throughs of the specific parts. And then just remember to come back because we're about to start the verse. Now the verse, yes, there's some new material, but the good news is, is a lot of the material is repeat, same themes, same little motifs. I'm gonna use that word a lot today. I think I know what it means, do you? Um, and, he, and he simplifies things. He's kind of matching the melody in certain parts and then some of the same themes and motifs return again. And, and, and that's it. And it's fun. It's gonna be great, just like the intro was. So let's do it. Measure 35, top of the verse. I don't know if this is a measure of 2-4 or if there was another measure of 2-4 somewhere else. I already told you. Kind of confusing to know what the downbeat is here. But we're gonna start with that. Thumb, thumb, and then here we go with our compound movement again. I'm gonna hit open on the second string. And the second I hammer on the second fret, I'm hitting the sixth string, which goes right into measure 36 there. So it's thumb, thumb, and hammer right to the first string, that same motif. Thumb alone on four, then we pinch six and one. Then I'm pinching six and two, and my second finger is down on the second string, second fret, and then immediately hit open. And that's the end of measure 36 there. So let's put those two together. We just have a two beat measure, one, two, and one, and two, pinch, pinch, and then 37. Well, let me do that one more time because it's kind of tricky. And with the words, I did all I could do. Kind of following the melody there. I did all I could do. So we're mimicking, the guitar is mimicking the vocal. 37, we just have thumb, 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 pinching four and two here with the second fret on two again, and then immediately hitting the first string on the end beat. And I, one more time. And I, here's 38. six and one, put the second fret down there and one, pinching four and one, they're both open, six and one are both open, then four and two, and it's the second fret on two, and then immediately playing the first, first string open. And I can't get along with you, then 39, thumb. Six, four, six, second string, second fret, pinching four and one are both open, and then right back to that second string, second fret. So 39 again. And then let's go one more, then we'll then we'll review all that. So measure what 40 are we at here? 37, 38, 39, 40. I don't know how to count by fours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got that slide again, sliding two to four with a pinch, six and one, and the second fret to the fourth. Fourth string. Then here we have six, first string, fourth, first string. And our melody's changing. Our melody is two to four, and then two, oh, it's a pinch. Thumb and thumb and six and one. Six, one, four, one. So that ending is six, one on the second fret, four, and then one is open. That's the ending. Six, one, four, one, six, one, four, one. So that measure again. Whew. 41. Before we start singing them, let's actually do the next two verses because that ends our first little stanza of lyrics here. So 41.
we have a different kind of rhythm going on here. Six, then the second string, second fret. So six, two, four, and then we pinch six and two. And we hammer open to two. So it's six, two, four, and then hammer six and two together, both open. And you hammer onto the second fret, and then it ends four, one. And it's a rhythm that's tricky because it's one and two, three and four. I don't know that we've seen that rhythm exactly before. There it is, it's 41. And then 42, we have thumb, a heavy, beat two there. So we're hitting four and three. And then we're, we're pinching again, six and two, and hammering, and it ends the same as the last measure. So pinch and then four. Pinch, four, one. So 41 and 42 together, three, four, but don't worry about it, right? Maybe that was not really the end of that or the beginning of that measure. It could have been the end of the other. I don't know where the one beat is as I've confessed many times already. Let's start singing. All right, let's start singing back to the top of the verse here, which is measure 33, 34, 35, right? Where it says verse on the tab. They're all free, download them, mikesmusicmethod.com. So let's start. We got that weird two beat measure one here. Three, four, It's the third fret, not the second. I did all I could do And I can't get along with you I'm gonna take you to your mama Hey, day <laughs> These lyrics, someone tell me what's going on. I mean, this, this stanza I kind of get. I mean, payday, I don't know that I understand that. Um, is he just like glad to be rid of this girl? Um, but what does he mean by payday? Like, like, it, like, like getting money is, is equivalent to him. Like just dropping this woman. <laughs> is that exciting to him? Um, and then the whole like rabbit log, rabbit dog. I don't even know what he's saying. Um, someone explain these lyrics to me, please comment below. Well, let's go through that slow again from the top of the verse. I did all I could do. So, so far we're with it. And I can't get along with you, just mimicking. I'm gonna take you to your mama. So I would say that's the hardest part. So going from the beginning of 39. I'm gonna take you to your mama. Day, day. Because in those measure, measures, he starts singing on some of the bass notes, and it's not just the melody note. In other words, his vocal is busier than the than the melody up top on the guitar. So one more time from uh, 39. I'm gonna take you to your mama. Day, day. So if you're gonna sing this one, um, get a pencil, right? Print out the tab I give you, and if you have to, measure for measure, write in what lyric is being hit over what melody note. And once you do that for the first verse and you get comfortable with it, then you should be able to wing it for the other verses when there's maybe a different syllable count and it's not exactly the same, yeah, length of syllables per line. But if you gotta write them in note for note, do that, give yourself the cues, use whatever crutch and aid you need to, to play the song that isn't cheating, that's called learning. Okay, guys, you, you who wanna be purists and learn it in some magical way, just sitting there and doing it. No, use whatever tool is at your disposal to help you get there. My favorite being the microscope, right? Zoom in, bang, note for note, break it down to you know three notes, to half a measure, a quarter of a measure, whatever it takes to really get your brain and your fingers to understand what the heck is going on. That's the only way you learn. Slow down and, and, and zoom in. Slow down and zoom in. Good news in this first verse here, first verse, the first f first verse, measure 43 is gonna be the same material from as 26. In other words, we're doing that slide from seven. Whoop. 
get the idea, you know where I'm at, I think. Now I'm way on 48 now, and I think this is still the same. And then here, 49 is where it breaks off from where it was in 26. It's not the same anymore because he sings, Hey, um, take you to your mama, day, day. So it ends different. So let's go from 49, pinching 6 and 1, sliding from 2 to 4, nothing new there. But then it's immediately 4, 2, and they're both open, so... Six and one, four, two. And then the end of the measure is this six, one, four, one. And we've seen that six, second fret, fourth string, open on the first string. So two, oh, six, one, four, one. So 49. Take you to your mom. One more time. Take you to your mom. And then 50 is six string to the second, second fret stuff. Six, two, four. Then we pinch six and two, both open. Hammer on to the second fret. We've seen this before. Four to one. So that measure. And to sing it from 49. Take you to your mama. And I think we've seen 50 and 51 as well. I'll play them really slow, but we've gone over these. 6, 4, then we pitch 6 and 2. We've seen that for sure. And then 6, 4, and with the compound hammer. 6, 4, 2, hammer, 1, 4. And here in 58, um, this happens only on the first verse. We'll listen to the second together, or at least I'll listen and get back to you. But here he does this whole instrumental part after the first verse, which again is incredibly similar, if not exactly the same as earlier in the song. So from 50, uh, I can't even read, 53, I need to zoom in. We got those slides from two to four again, and three in a row. I don't think there's any new material at all. Maybe 57, let's look at 57 for a second. We're sliding two to four, then it's six, two, then back to six. And then right away, I don't know that he slid back before, but I'm definitely hearing a slide in there. So the second half of that measure is six, one, and he slides that first string from four to two right away. Got it, I think. <laughs> Sorry if you're still lost, but I think you got it. So you got six, four slides to two, then you're immediately hitting the thumb afterwards. So a little bit of a different slide idea than before, where it's not a compound motion, because you're sliding, then hitting the thumb. And that, that was all a repeat. I can look at the tab for you, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Essentially, I just said 53 was the same as taking it from um, 18, the second half of measure 18, where we already talked about all that stuff. And that is the first verse, and that's the entire song. So, yeah, that's it. I marked in the tab. I'm looking at my tab now. So the first time, he repeats back to 26. So that means after he does all that instrumental stuff, he goes all the way back to 26 and does even more instrumental stuff because he does that whole, the seven nine thing again, but without singing, just like he did in the intro. So we have quite a bit of material there before he goes into the second verse. And that's what's so cool about this song. You can, once you get all these parts under your fingers, like, oh man, you, you can just glide around and really start enjoying it. You don't even have to sing it because it's just so much fun just to play as an instrumental thing. And we'll talk about this a little bit further on as we do some slow run-throughs together. But that's the tune and you made it. This, I know for some people, this song is gonna be a great breakthrough. 
um, open tuning, you're just gonna realize like how much fun you can have just by droning these two open Ds and really moving. Yeah, you can do it all day long, it's so much fun. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, and I know it's hard, but go slow and you're doing great and raise your glass. I'm gonna lift up my cup of joe and cheers. I hope someone out there is for really has a glass nearby and is cheering with me and let's enjoy it together. Mm. <sighs> Shake your hand, I'd give you a hug if you were here. And that's it, we did payday. Let's do some slow run throughs, talk about the oddities of the next few verses. But, but that's it, you're doing great. Let's sing another verse here together because they're a little bit different. So some versions of this song have a, a different second verse. I'm gonna jump to the, the rabbit in a log lyric here. Uh, so we're gonna go from 35 in the tab. All right, three, four. to this part, this verse. Get away, get away. I hate to see that rabbit get away. And, and that's the measure 52 there. And then he jumps back to another verse. So you really have to know the song uh, you know, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I didn't want to tab this whole thing out because it would go on and on and on and you guys would just get lost in the tab. So what I'm trying to convey to you poorly, I know I'm doing a poor job, but it's to understand and really get your hands around all of these different parts and then play it however you want to play it. How long do you want that inter inter instrumental section to be? Are you gonna loop all the way back to the intro? It's up to you. I think I've given you guys enough. If you're playing as this well, and you're doing this darn good, then I'm confident that you can kind of put together your own little version of this song, or just listen to the, the heck out of his, but and, and just know that he's nuanced, and he's gonna cut parts out and add parts, and for me to tab it out, measure for measure would drive you and I both nuts. So you get the idea. Let's do our slow run-throughs. Slow run-throughs from the top. Three, four. I'm scrolling, I didn't print out my tab. I'm on 29, three, four.
Scroll again, 57. Sometimes he repeats all the way back to 26. Other times he cuts right back into the verse. Um, here we go from the verse again, 30 whatever it is, five. Sorry. How does that go? Something about the rabbit in a log. There we go. I one more time. I'm noticing now there's way more melody notes there. Or is he singing a pickup? I don't know. Well, that rabbit. Yeah. Well, that rabbit. An awesome song, Shake My Hand Again. We did it, and I'm still learning the song. As you can tell, there are a lot of different parts, and John Hurt's weird, so I don't know exactly when he's going to what part. And, you know, I, should I study this more before I give it to you guys? I don't know, we're learning together. Although I do feel like I'm stumbling a little more than usual. This song's confusing me a little more than the other ones in terms of going where. So what I should do, is, and what I will do, is take... 10 minutes now to listen to Hurt. I'll give, I'll name each section because I hate calling them measure numbers. I'll just do cool slide from two to four or slide to seven, nine, right? I'll name the parts that way. And then I'll just mark down in the song. Okay, first he does all the intro. Verse one, he goes back to seven, nine slide at the end. Verse two, he cuts it short, goes back to two, four slide or whatever it may be. Make a little cheat sheet. And then on your own terms, in your own language, you're learning the flow of the song. Oh yeah, payday. I know it, slow and steady wins the race, okay? Be a turtle. Don't be that greedy little cocky little a-hole rabbit, okay? Be the turtle. Nothing wrong with being a turtle. Maybe not as flashy. He moves slow, but that's okay. You're, I know you're prepared to be the turtle. That's how we get good at guitar, be the turtle, all right? You know, if you get your skin all gross and scaly, Look at my hands in the winter. They're gross and scaly. Just embrace the turtle, his whole essence, not just the metaphor, okay? Paint your skin green, put, a, put something hard on your back, and go outside and talk to people w looking like that. <clears throat>